items, creating more visible offers, and hopefully making more money. So make sure you subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, what's going on, guys? So this is, I believe, um, it's going to be the first day that I record. I believe this is week six now. So for the past, like, three days, I really don't have much to update anybody on, and I know that kind of sucks. Um, so what I decided to do was I have an old debit card um, that I have not used in God knows how long. So I basically just decided to use an old debit card um, for now, until my business credit card comes from Wells Fargo in the next couple of days, I have to wait for it to get to my apartment building. So um, there's that. Second thing is my Amex card still not verified. Um, the ad account, like the business manager itself got disabled two days ago. We put a review and it got reinstated. So that's cool. Just like so many freaking obstacles. So now we have like the ad account ready to run. So I want to actually go through setting up the campaigns again, how I basically maneuver compliance so that you understand like if you get on a new BM, what exactly that looks like, okay? So um, we had to change the domain because when you run ads from a new BM, you have to basically buy a whole new domain. So now look at my domain now, it's completely different, right? I just added, you know, growth and then oil on the end and that's really it. So now what I have to do is, is and you could buy a domain inside Shopify and it's like 14 bucks, like it's not gonna kill you. Um, so inside, let me go to business settings. Right, and I hope you guys can see this. It's like another pop up because I use like a proxy. So let's see, pages. Okay, my page is hooked up. That's dope. Add accounts. This one's ready to go. Connected assets. I don't have the pixel, but if I go to the pixel, because I had to basically connect a whole new pixel to it, which kind of sucks but it's just what i gotta do unfortunately because if i don't connect a new pixel then it's gonna pick up the old one and then that's gonna get me shut down so add assets add done all right cool so basically um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this is completely from scratch so this is gonna be one video which is gonna be hey this is a part of the challenge the second one is how do i actually start ads with a completely new ad account um, and you know, what I basically do if I do get a new ad account, like how do I structure things? How do I, you know, what do I do from literally create to launch? So when you're warming up a new ad account, you know, obviously I always go straight for conversion ads, right? Um, what is this? Okay. Can't find your page. You have, okay. Confirm the deals below to be already to publish. I'm so confused. One domain needs events configured. That's interesting. I don't know what that even means. I hope this lets me run. I've never seen that before. I already did it. Domain owned by another business. Well, yeah, it's owned by the previous one. Yeah. Which by the way, I have to take off because that can, um, that can basically like ruin the, um, you know, the chance of me being able to put that domain on another BM later on down the road, but I can't use that BM anymore. So I'm going to go back. Okay. So go to create. Okay. Conversions. All right. That thing's gone. All right, cool. So what I'll usually do is I do like intro stacks, right? And I'll do that like intro stack, you know, phase one, you know, um, best graphics, right? And I really just like only focus on um, you know, let's say for example, I do human hair growth. Um, and then this would be like, you know, I always do a dynamic creative. So I'll hit continue and it doesn't really matter what you name the campaign. It kind of just matters like how you structure it. Okay. Cause a lot of people get like very confused by the whole like naming thing. I'm like, it's not really that big of a deal. Don't overthink it. So here is the pixel conversion events purchase. That's exactly what I'm going for. Websites, my conversion event, dynamic creative. I'm going to hit continue because I want to run dynamic. Um, if I know my CPAs are around 20 bucks, I want to make sure that I put that ad set, you know, under 20 because I want to frame Facebook into basically, you know, thinking that, um, why does it say three, five? It's like backwards. That's weird. Usually it should say five, three. That's interesting. Okay. 
And then with locations, another thing that really understand is this is people living in or recently you want to just put people living in only because then you could start picking up people who have no relation, right? Um, this I keep open in the beginning just because I want things to be like very broad to basically frame Facebook to have a lower CPM because I don't want to pay more for a CPM. I just don't, I just personally don't think that that is the best thing you could do, right? So I usually stack three interests together and I'll take those three interests and I just put them up here. I always take the three that are the most relatable to the first one, right? Yeah, I messed that up. Okay. So that's my first interest stack. Automatic placements always. Show more options. Okay. I always keep it on seven day or one day clicker view. Okay. So the Instagram account is not connected. So I'm going to pause this real quick and I got to connect it and then I'll be right back. All right. So I connected it. All right, put on ad preview. Now here's the thing that I do focus on that I know might be very interesting for some of you is that when you're trying to fix compliance, you want to actually like change. Um, okay, I do not want to do that. Um, you want to basically like select images from the page. I know this is like really weird, but if you select images from the page, like you, first of all, you do want to change the file. And that's kind of what I focus on um, because I don't want to alter what's obviously happening. Um, so for example, right, I would go to upload. Okay, and then we're gonna go to desktop. I'm gonna find the image. Okay, sorry, I gotta like scroll and find these cause I don't know where they are. So I'm gonna name them like, you know, May image. I'm gonna change the name of it and then upload it. Say, we review all new media for potential advertising policy issues. You can still submit your ad. Any media with potential issues will display a warning icon. This doesn't. Okay, so we hit continue. We go to the next image. Okay, we'll go to upload. Okay. So we're gonna rename this one open and then this one will then run it's gonna upload it obviously see if it gives me an image nope all right cool next one because right now in may i can't believe that the year has gone by this fast it's like oh my god dude it is nuts um i'm trying to think about what other images we can run i have a bunch Okay, let me just try to figure this out, okay? Okay, that one can go up too. Yeah. Let me try, oh, yep, this one can go up too. Open. I'll try to do three to four creatives. I don't try to like try to put too many because then you're going to, because if you're not spending a crazy amount of money, you're going to struggle to try to find what is actually working. Um, so yeah. And when I did structure my ad copy, uh, I need to go find it in my notes, but I'll be right back. But I'll like kind of talk about why. So I have the copy that I used to use before. I'm going to paste it and then kind of go over it. Um, well, no, this was actually from a client. So no. Okay. Um, this was like kind of the inspiration that I got. So what I'm going to do is, um, okay. There's like, we've had 6,120 plus men and women. Let's say like, um, see, here's the thing too. When I break down ad copy, I kind of think about like, like what do they actually want? 
So it's like I'm the one hair growth formula. Okay, and also it's like organic hair growth formula used by used by you know 6100 plus 6120 plus men and women, you know, are achieving hair growth results. And I like to capitalize that in under two weeks. Okay, because if they use it consistently, they can. Um, organic growth oil, stops hair loss, repairs damaged hair, and even fights stubborn hair. This is not what I wanted to use. Um, and then I'll put something where it's like, you know, contains 13 all natural, powerful ingredients. Because I don't want to like reinvent the wheel from what actually worked before. And when you guys first started watching this challenge, I didn't really like talk about um, like breaking down the actual ad copy. I just like basically ran it. And I'll say like here for like for optimal results. Okay. I'll put like an okay emoji there. Um, and then this is where I would put like, you know, um, all hair types. Yeah, you're thinking about their biggest objections, right? Um, and then you would put, you know, um, what else? You know, this is where I kind of want to put like the green emoji. That and this is where I'm trying to be congruent to what is going to show up on the next page. So I used a quote before I like on the last ad copy that I did. Okay. And this is still free express shipping. Now I'm going to go to this page and preview it and try to find a quote that I think is more relatable. So like, obviously this was really good and I want to use this quote again. Because it was just like the most congruent thing, but at the same time, I already used it once. So I want to be more compliant and I want to use like the second one. And it's also because the name is just more congruent to like the actual audience. If you get what I'm saying, like, okay. And then you would, you know, I would put star here. Right. And then we could do like, you know, the star and then I'll go copy. And that would do very, very well. Now that's here for men and women. And then also what other objections can we take care of, right? Um, I mean, suits all hair types. I mean, yeah, I feel like that's just like easier. And the only other thing that I would really add here is like, you know, guaranteed results. And then it would be like, results or full refund, like kind of reiterate like the offer so that it's like a very, you know, strong offer. I talk about that a lot on this page about really having, just really kind of hammering down um, the offer. Let me think about this. Mm. Guarantee results, results are full. Or it would just be like in the same line, honestly. It's just like, yeah. So it's all hair types for men and women. You know, guarantee. Okay. And then this is where you would put the, you know, doctor recommended and reiterate that part. You know, and then we would put done. Okay. Cool. Now, this would be my ad copy moving forward. Now, obviously, like this can do very well, this headline here. Um, you know, another 
headline that we could test is this, right? We would say add options. We could go this route where it's like, we would keep this here and we could say this. Okay, doctor recommended for results in two weeks guaranteed. And then just kind of have that angle. So like, it's probably gonna work better doing that. It's just like a different angle. So that's the other thing that I would try to test as well. And then with the shop, now we have that. So we have our first intro stack with all the creative. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this ad set. And then we're just gonna simply test a couple. And I think that this is gonna do very, very well again. So, okay, so which interest did we not use? Let's think about this, right? Hair products, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the other ones that don't have hair products, okay? And now we're gonna find the next three. So hairstyle, long hair. So I'm gonna take these three interests now and then go up here. And that's literally it. Oh, geez. Long hair. So what, what were the three? Long hair, hairstyle, products. Okay. And we're going to take this one, quickly duplicate it. I'm just simply trying to um, triple down on the interest instead of just trying to spread myself way too thin. So the next one is going to be, we're going to do like hair straightening. Suggestions, hair dryer, and then a hair iron. Oh no, we already used hair style, hair iron. Okay. And then the next angle that I'm going to take is going to be the hair conditioner stack. Uh, we duplicate that and like already I have three strong ad sets that I know will perform based on past data. Um, hair conditioner. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, we're gonna get rid of these three. Okay, so now what is there? There is hair conditioner, shampoo. What else have I not used yet? Maybe keratin? I don't know. That's a tough one. Okay, we're just gonna try these three. Okay. And then the, one of these is gonna be, um, what do you wanna call it? It's gonna be the open targeting because that actually crushes really efficiently. I might just do one too that's just like engage shoppers only, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these three interests and then just do one that's just a straight up engaged shoppers. Perfect. And then also because I know my demographic of people who are buying, I'm going to do some interests of like, and this is going to be open targeting. And these are just so that these ads can basically warm up. Now that's really it. This is just open targeting. So there's no interest. Quickly duplicate again. And you can see how fast that I'm just, you know, literally launching these ad sets and how I'm structuring it so that nothing's overlapping. Okay, next one would be like, you know, interest like this. Who is Louis Hay? I don't know who that is. Oh, geez, I have no clue who that is. Okay. Um, no. find I'm trying to think here okay I mean if you really think about it too it's like who else right we got Rihanna. well she's not well that's an artist I'm just gonna simply keep this one like really blunt so it's like who else uh, this would work pretty well that would crush. Okay. So these two are here. Okay. We're going to duplicate and then we're going to do like artist based people who are African American because that's my demographic of people who are mostly buying this. 
Um, okay, so now we're going to do like Anna. Who else? Beyonce. Who else? I mean, that's. Wait, who are. Okay. I know I'm missing one. I'm trying to think about. Yes, that's another good one. But do people like Mariah Carey? I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't know. I don't really know this that well. Okay, that could be a good one. That's a good one. Okay. So I'm doing that. Okay. Okay. That's kind of like what I would first start off with are these main interests and these are running at 20 bucks each. So I'm going to hit publish and these will just start running right now because I already fixed the copy, the domains already, the pixels ready, like everything is in place that I need. So yeah, everything is good. <clears throat> okay. So We'll let this sit for a couple seconds, then we will refresh and see if we're all ready to go. And these should get approved because there's new domains, so we should be fine. That's how I would basically launch the first set, right? And we would have this first set run. And what I might do is I might just duplicate and say, listen, like, you know, these are really great, but I should probably run video my, my videos as well side by side. And maybe change the thumbnails on them from what they were previously. So these are all processing. Um, it says ads and actor, which makes no sense. Why? Just because they're processing. It just takes a while sometimes. So, all right. So that's what I would do. Um, I'm going to obviously just let these get approved first, let the ad account nurture, and then I will keep you guys posted on what happens next. All right, guys. Thanks. All right. So just to kind of recap this week, um, we have ads, you know, certainly kicking in the right direction. Um, my conversion rate looks a lot higher, but a lot of this is organic search, like a 5.88 yesterday's. I'm pretty sure it was over a freaking five. Oh, geez. Okay. 2.96. Okay. For some reason, there were a ton of added cards. Oh, that is because I sent out that text message. So if it wasn't for the text message, it'd probably be around a five or a six. Okay. So. Um, with that being said, I want to show you what's been going on. So our Facebook ad account got restricted. We requested a review today. Um, I don't really know what to say about any of this, except that, you know, the personal ad account got disabled. Um, if we go to the ads manager, this is also disabled. So this is the 7406. You know, these two are none of them. Um, my pages aren't restricted, just that one wanted identity verification. So whatever, uh, we use like offshore BMs. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so we have, you know, we have two really promising campaigns. You spent one sixty two twenty seven dollars a purchase, which is honestly really promising right off the bat like that. So, um, I mean, it's still too early cause I can only spend 50 bucks a day and my ad account is not working currently cause I have to build a reputation with them to let me get a higher uh, ad spend every single day. So um, in the row as isn't crazy high, um, this is getting, you know, probably people, these two purchases have spent just 27 bucks on the one bottle. So not really crazy promising. These people went to the landing page. So this has a lower CPA than the Shopify page and has gotten more purchases. So overall, I'm probably just gonna run all the ad spend to this, you know, having a 1.78 row as, I wanna get that a lot higher, obviously. But that's kind of the status of everything. It's really slow right now, but this is just kind of what running a business entails, unfortunately. Um, this is just the way it is. So always having these ups and downs and just like, sometimes it's really hard to stay grounded and motivated, to be honest. Um, I've been focusing a lot on the agency side um, of my business, trying to ferment that.
because obviously that just makes more money. Um, and what I've realized is more people are going to the landing page, they're buying the two bottles. So really it's just a matter of, you know, really get to that point where I'm able to efficiently scale this back up again, because, you know, like, yeah, it's cool. It makes 300 bucks a day, like organically and with a little bit of ads been like yesterday, 368, you know, this month in general, we've had a decent month. Like I can't really be mad about this. Like a lot of people be like, well, whoa, we made 150 K last month. Like from the date that we started last month, we had a huge month, $123,000. And we were only halfway through the freaking month. Like we could have done $210,000 easily. But if we go from March to April, we did $153,000. Like we had a lot of awesome days here and I can't really be mad. Like 3,600 orders. That's a ton of people in my ecosystem on my email list, whatever the case may be, like I'm not even going to be mad about it. It's just that sometimes you have to take three steps back to take four steps forward. I'm also waiting for the Amex card to come in the mail. They sent to the wrong address again. So dealing with morons is not the greatest thing, but this is kind of just my weekly recap on this agency side had some accounts get banned because we moved them over to a new BM. So that's been fun. Um, and then on top of that, we just onboarded another sales rep. So now we have three. Um, and then my Instagram, we just had to change the rep that we're using to get it back. So now we have three reps, um, which can obviously take more phone calls. So we should be having about 30 to 35 phone calls a day back to what, it, you know, was the minimum when I had four sales reps, it was 45 to 55. So trying to build those systems out currently, you know, going from 20 calls a day, 30, I need to get to about 45 to really have this thing even be worth scalable. Um, and then that's really my two cents on that, but just a lot of challenges right now. We just changed the CRM to copper. So we're not using clothes anymore because it's just too complicated, too expensive, uh, to have so many admins on it and the team on it. it's like two grand a month. Copper's like 400. So it's just a lot cheaper. Um, but that's really it. That, that is the game that I'm playing right now. So unfortunately not like a crazy amount to really update you guys on. Um, and then also my other BM just went down. So the sales team where I run my ads for my sales team that just went through identity verification as well. So Hagen's helped me with that. So overall, just like just a lot of punches. I think realistically these last two to three months have been just a huge test for me. Um, trying to stay composed, trying to stay optimistic. We just got another purchase. I'm pretty sure. Um, but it's just hard staying so optimistic. Oh, there it was 45. Yep. Just, it's kind of hard sometimes staying so optimistic and like, you know, having all these battles and, 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 and just like obstacles, like it really is challenging. So, um, I appreciate all you guys sticking with the channel. We are just pumping out a shit ton of content and I'm just honestly really satisfied. Like we're at 790 subs, I think 790, like I'm not mad at all about anything. Like I'm honestly really satisfied with where this is going. Um, we got a new YouTube header, like just so many things that we're trying to build out right now and keep the consistency here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I appreciate you guys. I'm going to keep rocking and rolling, but hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for stopping by. I know this, these last two to three weeks have been really boring, but it's just me waiting on either a bank to really get some common sense or Facebook to let me spend more. It's just honestly been a shit show. So I appreciate you guys stopping on by. I'm just giving you guys the transparency. I'm not going to go like fake and be like, yeah, we're still crushing it. No, okay, we are not. Um, this is just what it takes to be a business owner. So appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys next week.